Hey guys, the third leg of the I'm Coming Everywhere World Tour is live right now. Go to TomSegura.com slash tour for tickets and use the code word Tommy, T-O-M-M-Y, for early access. See, that's harmless. That's it's a palate that, cleanser. Yeah. You like it. I wish you would have saved this. For after I wouldn't the put show. this one. I would put this okay. down there, you know? But here's why it's an exceptional talk. Because you always usually depress everybody, so it's yeah, nice yeah, to have yeah. this after that. I know, but, you know, I didn't make it. So this is like a misdirect. Like, oh, this is going to be a fun ride. And then I know it's like, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I know to tell somebody, no. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. All right. Jeans, 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 jeans. If you want to move in, you can move in, in. but you got to fuck. Oh, man, I miss Welcome to Your Mom's House podcast. I'm Tom. I'm She's Christine. Christine. Free rent, you get a lease and a key. Fuck me. Fuck me. Um, Can I tell you something? Yeah. I like your shirt. Thanks. It's kind of a vacation dad vibe. It is kind of a vacation dad shirt. Why did you choose that one today? I don't know. I'm just going through my closet and, you know, I took a couple of laps around it and I was like, what will I wear? And um, just pick this. Ah, yeah. I like it. And you're wearing a different color. <laughs> you don't like it? I do. What is that? It's called fluorescent green. It's kind of a callback to my youth. This is what the kids wore back in the day. Oof. When I wore this as a kid. You don't like it? You don't like how the green makes my face look green? It's a cool guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it's cool. It's cool. I like the sweater. I like sweaters. Sweaters are good. So comfy. So comfy. Cozy. I hate where I wear tight shit and then, you know, it doesn't feel good all day. I'll tell you, this Austin weather is something. It's pro unpredictable. It's like 80 today, and then last night it's fucking 40. It's just wild. Wild. Yeah. You and I have been getting into building fires, though, lately. I really enjoy it. And it's so much fun how stupid something that is. primal takes over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. we were at dinner. We, were, we went on an overnight mommy love trip. Yeah, to a hoe lounge. Yeah. Yeah. And at dinner, I was like, let's go back and make a fire and build the shit out of it and make it bigger. And you were like, what, crazy train? You, you, I saw the look of doubt. And then we got there and I was like, see, put another one in. Otherwise, it's going to go down. You don't want it to go down to you. Put another one in. I got obsessed. And then you keep building that shit and building that shit. Like this I fire. got obsessed. Burns. Ooh, hot. that's really Woo! hot. Don't burn your hands. Don't burn your hands. Yeah, but it was. Yeah. I know. It's so much fun. Fire is the funnest. Yeah. If no. you're out there today, <laughs> just make a fire somewhere. You know, preferably in a fireplace. In a fireplace. Can yeah. I tell you the best part about my childhood is that uh, my dad. Mm -hmm. Oh, we used to have a fireplace, and then um, when I was like eight years old, he would build a fire at night and then drink a lot and then pass out, and then I would get to play alone with the fire. That's pretty cool. <laughs> For hours and i was so young and i would just throw everything in there you know like yeah. marshmallows newspaper and just whoosh, wash it. I'm, like, I'm really surprised i didn't burn the house down yeah you know then again it taught me how to respect fire it's kind of good that my parents were negligent you know what i mean i went to high school with an arsonist really yeah he served uh real time in a really? state penitentiary yeah what did he burn down Oh, public property, libraries. Um, I think you mean libraries. Libraries, yeah. Wow, so that was his thing. I made his dick hard is to burn I guess stuff. so. He was a real um, socially maker. awkward. No, he wasn't a troll. He was a, a very awkward guy in high so school. So you knew something was you off. You knew something was off. Yeah. I mean, it, just like you just were like, you know, when you, there's people you're like, that guy's just fucking, you know, he didn't have normal social skills, but, but notably, you know. Like he couldn't talk to you and stuff. <clears throat> what? Uh, pyrophilia is a relatively uncommon paraphilia in which a subject derives gratification from fire and fire starting activity. I like that. I get that. It is distinguished from pyromania by the gratification yeah. being of a sexual nature. Hmm. <sighs> but I don't think most arsonists are necessarily, uh, you know, pyro. Like, yeah, they're not like getting boners doing it. I think they're I just know. like, this is awesome. It is awesome. Yeah. No, I get it. 
I would light lots of fires too. I uh, I feel like if I were a lawyer and I were prosecuting an arsonist, I'd be like, I get it. I get it's it too. Cool. It's a Fire's good crime. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Fire. Fire. Yeah. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, let's uh. Let's pull our dicks out here and pull your dicks out on my face and pull it, pull it, pull the dicks out. You ready? Out. I'm ready to pull your dick out. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna like this one. I like you're gonna like the way you look. Basically, I'm looking for, a, you know, a babysitter that will come on the weekends and watch them. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. I'm your girl. Aren't you gonna have kids of your own? Um, no, I don't think I'll ever have any kids. I'm really not that type of girl. Really? I'm surprised. I'm sure a lot of guys would like to uh, knock you up. Gosh, well, that would be a Christmas miracle. <laughs> what kind of girl are you? Uh-oh. Let's just say I'm a special girl. What are you, retarded? <laughs> no, you idiot. I'm a transsexual. <laughs> Who is Randy? I was not expecting that. <laughs> that was good. about the r word um that was a pretty cool setup for it's a porno huh? the fucking best one i've ever seen yeah. and now i want to follow all this person's work these people's yeah, no. work and also i like how they have to really draw out the dialogue like how stupid are the people watching this like how many times does she have to be like no i'm not a regular girl like i know you're not a regular girl <laughs> no i can't have a baby like we um, know her voice was... is a little deep well, I was. Uh, you can tell the difference between my voice and her voice, right? Please do not use gendered <laughs> language. I cannot tell. And also, I wouldn't Please. mind if you fool me once. <laughs> I would. That's a good name of a porn. Fool yep, me once. Yep. I would. I would be like, really? Oh, you are you not ready to reproduce? Show me. <laughs> you would. So you'd bang this chick? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. I would like, ideally. I'd like to not know, get fully around. I mean, like ready to go yeah. and then have her be like, uh oh, oopsies, look at my dick, too. And I'd be like, oh, it's too late. <laughs> yeah. So it's not your mm. fault. Yeah, I'd be like, I mean, I'm about to come. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can't turn back now. I can't. What am I supposed to do? Pull my pants up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, that's true. That takes away all the responsibility. Yeah, and then she'd be knowing. like, oh, I'm basically a girl. I'd be like, yeah, you are. Yeah, same diff, right? Yeah. Does Bert like transsexuals? Just like you're a girl, but you're like way cooler than most of them. You know? Okay. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's okay. basically what it is. Well, that's... <sighs> it's a it's a, it's a, a girl with like a cool disposition. Yeah, I know. I get it. It's a girl that's really a guy. That's why it's so exciting. No. She knows how dicks work, and I get it. I get it. Yep. I wonder what this person's uh, Twitter handle is. So, um, listen, I asked you a question. What? Does Bert like uh, transsexuals as well? I don't know what he likes, actually. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know if he likes that. I don't know. You guys don't talk about that on Two Bears? We haven't talked about actual trans, no, like wow. porn or anything. I didn't know you were into transsexuals. I didn't know either, but this is a really cool clip. <laughs> <laughs> I used to uh, have a comedy friend that was really into this. I think really a lot of into it. male comics are. And uh, he would send me clips and I'd be like, and he, and he would write like, wasn't that hot? And I go, I didn't watch it. Yeah. And he was like, why? I go, because it's not my thing. Yeah. He's like, dude, it's hot. And I'm like, okay, to you. I, I was like, I don't, I haven't watched this, man. I'm not watching this. What's well, not hot? It just, at the, I mean, at the time, well, now I just switched. Yeah. But at the yeah. time. 
I was just like, this doesn't do anything for me. But it's obviously a super popular genre. I mean, I think it's one of the most I, I searched. Bet. And like, well, yeah. that and so in um, India, we did the story on where my mom's at, that there's a huge, did I talk about this already on your mom's house? I don't know. In India, they, they're analyzing the Google searches and a lot of men are searching for breastfeeding, like adult breastfeeding. Really? And it's become a big thing. That's another thing. It, my dick would just go, dude. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't do anything for me. Me neither. And yeah. that's a. Ni- I hated breastfeeding to begin with, but then have your big old be- bearded mouth on me. Yeah. And they talk about the men talk about how it soothes them, and yeah. it's like a ritual at the end of the day. Um, I can I can see that how it's comforting. Yeah. But like I, it's a lot. Yeah. To just you know, yeah, you guys can also just hold hands and watch Netflix. You know. Yeah, yeah. Well, interesting. I mean, definitely, breastfeeding is not. Not, it's not for you. Not to doesn't get off appeal. on, no. It's not sexual, Tom. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's never sexual. <laughs> they but claim it's not sexual. I think that's just sexual. how kinks work. I mean, there's just, yeah. there's a hundred out there and you're like, yeah, 99 are not doing anything for me. And then you find that one that special. One special thing, yeah. Oh my God, I just had a crazy thought. What? Remember last episode we were talking about the new Victoria's Secret model? Yes. That could be somebody's kink. Of course, it They're could be. only into. I got it. You don't have to share anymore. It's all clear now. <laughs> I've never even thought of it before. Is well, that, you is just that a, did. Wait, is that a category? Like when you go to Pornhub or whatever? Don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think so. <laughs> What's your kink? What are you into? <laughs> Down syndrome. <laughs> Um, that gets you off? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to tell you. I'm certainly not going to tell the YMH audience. How are you not going to tell me? I'm going to tell you in private at times, but not right now. All right. Not on the show. You were floating one the other day and you wouldn't tell me. About yeah. what? The cast of Euphoria? No. About like a, a kink, like a genre. And you were like, mm, you'll have to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you're like, tell me. Yeah. Tell me. Told me, like it was like in the morning. I just woken up. It wasn't. And I was just it having wasn't. my coffee. It wasn't. And I was in my pajamas. No. What was it? No, I can see how your brain works. <laughs> when was it? It was in the evening. It was in the evening. Yeah. I was all tired and stuff. <laughs> when was it? It was in the evening in bed, and you'd had a drink, and you were like, okay. "You got to figure it out." <laughs> First of all, first of all, I da, 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 da. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. That's Maria. It's you're like, me. when you like to know. <laughs> That's what you did. You're like, I'm not just going to tell you. You have to earn it. <laughs> I did not say it yes, like that. Yes, you did. I did not. Yes, you did. And A, I'm not just going to tell you. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. Fine. Because it's more fun for you to have to guess a bunch and then, you know. Maybe I don't want to share, actually. Okay. You want to keep his secrets. Fair enough. Okay. Your mouth is big. You realize that? I have a big tongue. Uh, big bear. Jesus. <laughs> it's a huge beef tongue. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, it's like a uh, full person in there. Okie doke. Yeah. Who's got a bigger mouth, you or Bert? I think Bertrand. He's, He's got, got a, a big ass head, too. Yeah. I thought I had a big head. His head is fucking enormous yeah and it's growing it might be the rest of them is it is no his yeah. head is bigger than it used to be yeah his whole body's growing yeah, he's growing yeah he's so big he's huge his stomach now is like you know like an <laughs> old football coach where you're like you see that gut you're like that's not going anywhere yeah it's just like so solid yeah it's so big and so solid yeah. It's this, hard. It's, it's a fucking hard yeah. belly. It's like um Tommy Lazorda. Yeah. Lazorda from the Dodgers. Uh you'd see him doing commercials and everyone would call him Tommy Lasagna because he's yeah. so fat. Yeah. Let's look at Tommy Lasorda. And then he was the spokesman for For Weight Watchers. Yeah. We were was like, it Weight Watchers or one of those shakes? <laughs> right? Wasn't it the shakes? <laughs> I don't remember. He looks fine there. Yeah, he got real there he goes. Oof. 
Oh, that was at his height. Is he still alive? Uh, oh, he's no. dead. 93. Damn, he what looked What was the name of that shake? What was that shake? Look it up. Tommy called... Lasorda weight loss endorsement. Type in shake. What was, what was they it? Called? Nutrisystem? Maybe it was that. What was it called? There he is. Is that it? <laughs> what was it? Slim Fast. Slim Fast. Slim, Slim Fast. Fast. That's right. That was you, the crepes. <clears throat> it was. Slim was like a national name. It was. I, you drink. You just drink a shake for breakfast. Yep. And then you have a sensible lunch and a sensible dinner. That's right. That was the the plug. And I love the taste of Slim Fast. I drank that shit like in college. Yeah. High school stuff. chocolate shake. Tommy Lasorda gave our confirmation speech when I was. What? Yeah. Your confirmation. So like, confirmation is the equivalent to a bar mitzvah. Oh yeah. Except nobody gives a fuck in Catholic church. Like they don't care. Yeah. And. So you go, you're like 14, 14 or 15, and it's supposed to be like you're you're now an adult in right. the Catholic Church. So I was in Vero Beach. Vero Beach is where the Dodgers used to do spring training. Oh. So uh, he would go to mass, so would Mike Piazza, a couple other uh, Dodgers. And so I'm in confirmation class, which is as boring as you can imagine. Yeah, okay. terrible. Oh, uh, you know, JC did this and this fucking... Angel did that, and you're like, yep. And then, I mean, it's a bunch of people, like kids like this, like sitting there just listening to this shit whose parents are making them get yeah. confirmed. Yeah. And then they're like, all right, so confirmation is, you know, Saturday or whatever. And we show up, like the seven or eight of us that are in that, and then Tommy Lasorda walks in and stands at the podium, and he's like, this is a great day for you. You guys are doing a great, and he gives this speech about it. And we were all like, holy shit. <laughs> Tommy Lasorda is giving us this speech. And um, yeah, he was really nice, like met all of us. And Was it a thin Tommy Lasorda or a, a fat Tommy Lasorda? He was kind of big, kind of. Not like huge, but you know, kind of big. It just reminds me of that show we're watching, Inventing Anna. Yeah. And she's in her, she's the, the pregnant journalist goes to meet her in prison. And she goes, I have a question for you. She goes, are you pregnant or just very, very fat? <laughs> yeah, and I was really like, funny. oh, I think I love this person. Yeah. You know, was, um, you know what I loved about this show, though, or have, have been enjoying so much? A lot of times when you watch a, a story and you know things about the story and it's misrepresented in, the, in a movie or a show, you're like, I wish they just did the real story. I know. This show invents all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Like, May, adds all types of characters and plot lines and everything and it's fantastic yeah it adds so much to the story it's like my first time i've watched something and i'm like thank god they took the liberty to embellish and exaggerate yeah. and create storylines it's so much better yeah it's a super fun show i i'd like to know what the true story the characters is. are just all fantastic yeah it's the ozark girl she's great yeah julia garner she's great oh. really good show that's the real that's the oh. real Anna right there yeah she looks like her mm-hmm doesn't look happy there, Tom. No, let's see the let's see the cast compared. That, that'll tell you how some of these uh, characters are completely made up anyway. Um, all right, so that's Garner and Anna Delvey. Um, okay, that's the defendant. That's a, or the defense attorney. All right, let's see here, Samir. Oh, so that's based on her boyfriend Chase. Uh, don't remember him. He was the actor who played. Da, 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 da. Chase Corsi isn't a real person. We were able to reasonably deduce that Chase is, in fact, based on a real guy who's given a TED talk, Amber profile by the New Yorker, and uh, named Hunter Lee Soik or Sock. I'm not sure. Does it go down anymore? Explain who he is at all? Like was he? Oh, doesn't really tell you that much about her. And uh, Chomsky's Vivian Kent as Jessica Pressler. I guess that's who wrote the piece. I wonder if she. Oh, a fictionalized version who wrote the New York story upon that uh, she is still with New York. I wonder if she was actually told not to write the story like they portray in the I show. know. I mean, <clears throat> honestly, I didn't need that whole yeah. storyline. But they get, the like, all the like storylines just give so much, like, weight. Intensity and yeah. gravity. Yeah, but uh, it always bothers me where, like, somebody wants to do something that we all know would be a really good idea, and the boss is like, I don't think so. It, it bothers me. Mm -hmm. I hate that. Yeah, and I'm like, just let them do it. What's the big deal, Laverne yeah. Cox? 
But they're not telling us in these in this thing right now whether or not the person it's based on actually knew, you know, Anna. Mm. You know what I mean? It's just saying it's based on okay, but was the real person a friend of Anna's? Yeah. That's not it's not explaining know. that. It's kind of silly. She's a she's a mystery. Oh, Anthony uh, Edwards. Uh so that that's a character fictionalized version of the real life lawyer who was working with her. Okay. That makes sense. Look, they, they, that guy, Anthony Edwards, has done so many shows, and they, they just credited him with Revenge of the Nerds, yeah. which is, I'm sure, not his favorite. proudest yeah. favorite <laughs> yeah. credit. Like You guys, like, you can drop that. since then. You can drop Thanks. that. He's done so much work I since know. then. <laughs> I know. You ever do press now, and they're like, yeah. hey, you're on this morning radio show, and you're like, that's from 12 years ago. Man. I don't care. I don't yeah. need you to put every dumb thing I've ever done. Ugh. But that show's great. Shout out to I think is it Shonda Rhimes. Shonda Rhimes, their name. Who I think created it. Leanne Rhimes, the country singer. Did Leanne Rhimes' sister, Shonda. Yes. <laughs> um, yep. There she is. Yeah. 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 Created and produced by Shonda Rhimes. Yeah. Yeah. Really well done. Super fun. So I have a YMH exclusive. Is, you've, been, you've been teasing me, I've and you're like, I'm not going to tell you what it is. This is you. a YMH exclusive. Okay. YMH exclusive. YMH exclusive. YMH. So, uh, as you know, we've been dedicated to the Toto Washlet 350E for quite a while now. Yeah. A washlet. And the washlet is different than a bidet, right? It's um, You sit down on the toilet, and it's just a little thing you put the seat that you install and then it sprays your asshole with water and you just sit and you shit as you normally would. Mm-hmm. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, this last um, time I was in Miami, I got to use a real bidet. Have you ever used a real bidet? I have. Well, let me tell you, I had such high hopes for this bidet because I thought this is ground zero. This is the originator this of everything original. we love. Yeah. Now, the problem with the bidet, number one, <laughs> I went to turn on the water and it splashed up into my face because it goes so fucking hard. And I was like, ah! and it was all over my hair. Oh. I got toilet water all in my hair, all on my face. Yeah. And then you how have are to you supposed, squat. That's what I'm How are you supposed to do this traditionally? I don't like You're it. You're supposed to shit in the toilet. Right. And then are you supposed to just like shuffle over? Well, is that's that, is that the idea? That's what I don't like. Is that then I have to shuffle over to a whole other apparatus? Yeah, you keep your pants around your ankles because I was worried. Like, do I have that's to what get I'm completely naked to do this? Yeah. So then I pull. You can, pants can be around the ankles, and then you sit. Now that's if you're doing a number one cleanup. What she's oh doing. Oh my god, people do that. But I face with my back. I was facing with my back towards yeah the plumbing or whatever, and it's so messy. Oh my god! And it's so horrible, and splashes everywhere. It's just a disaster. Oh, this is good. This is a, a an illustration. Okay, she's taking a big shit. Okay, is she shitting or yellowing? Because those think, are two different let's, cleanups. Let, let's hope the... she's shitting. Okay, scroll. There's the bidet. That's what I'm talking about. It's right next. It's horrible. It says find the bidet. That's step two. Find it. That's great. It's stupid. Yeah. Well, I guess if you're googling how do I use one, they're like you should find it first. All right. There are three. There are many types. Uh, standalone in Europe. Yeah, I've seen those. Okay. Oh. I think that's if you're doing. I don't think so. I mean, it was so. Yeah, so you have to straddle. So you look. Yeah. She had to take her pants yeah, off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's so impractical. That's what I'm saying. I've shit before with those next to me. I'm like, I'm supposed to take my shoes and my pants and everything off. <laughs> uh, just go take a shower then. I mean, come on. Okay. <laughs> Make that bigger. It's terrible. This is a nightmare. And scroll to the to the type here. Straddle. If you're wearing pants, you have to remove them. I mean, oh my God. why not just take a shower? This is like taking an asshole shower, and it, it ruins uh, your whole outfit, everything. You may want to be. You may the way you face may dictate the position of the jets. Uh, that's to say, if you need to clean your front, it may right. be easier to face the jets. If you're cleaning your rear, right. try facing away. Okay. See, so you have to switch as a, as a woman. This is the that's the way. That's the way to do See, it. See, in this way, you, there's settings for a woman and man. Yeah. So it's so much easier. You don't have to get up, move to another apparatus. I don't think there's a better feeling than that jet stream coming into your asshole. It's the best. Like after you make a dirty chocolate. <laughs> it's the best. It really does. You feel like, oh 
man. You know, our three-year-old has been using the bidet. <laughs> That's fucking insane. That For most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. Now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling around, connecting in a deeper way with family, or you just have some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. La donna mangia. <laughs> yeah, that's Italian for the woman eats. As you can see, I actually use Babbel. And with Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Right now, save up to 65% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash mom. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash M-O-M for up to 65% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Uh-oh, look at this. You know what this is? Best Fiends. Guess what level I'm on? 155. Bam! Wow! That's because I love this game. And I got my um, my six-year-old into it as well. We all love it. Best Fiends. It's a mobile puzzle game that anyone can download and play. Whether you have a few minutes or a few hours, Best Fiends is the perfect puzzle game to lose yourself in because you're having so much fun. The game features tons of cute characters that help you solve thousands of fun puzzles. And the more you play, the more characters you collect. New characters and challenging puzzles are added all the time. And there are tons of fun events where you can win huge rewards. With thousands of levels, you can literally play as long as you want and never get bored. Trust me on that. Download Best Fiends free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. That kid is so you, 100%. He, he'll be like, I gotta go poo-poo. I'm like, oh, okay. And he does it just to go in there and let the water spray. He doesn't ever poo-poo. He just likes the spray, spray on his, his butt. Ass, yeah. He goes, am I clean? Yeah. He loves it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is so stupid. I, that's I really hot and that's cold. Jesus yeah, Christ. it's a nightmare. And then and then literally the pressure is very vigorous. So I splashed I had water everywhere, all over my hair, all over my face. It was terrible. It was terrible. It was a bad experience. And I was I had such high hopes for it. I was like, finally I get to I get to experience how like my ancestors did, you know? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. That's how I was doing it, because I made a brown. Yeah. But I didn't fill the bowl with water. That's not right either. So then there's mm -mm. shit water right under your cooch. That's no, you not smart. That. Position. You're squatting. I you mean, want the water to hit the area like, you need to clean, of course. You have to squat over that? Oh, my God. Oh, it's so hard. You just sit directly on the rim. Oh, man. That's what I did. And it still was just not comfortable. Oof. I was like, I don't think so. There you go. That's what you want. And that's what you want. You want that spray right up your hole. <laughs> Yeah, and then, and then you can put a nice lady's tongue back there afterwards. <laughs> okay, babe. If you're nice and clean. You have to use soap, too, the bidet. Mm. Okay. 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 Well, that's, uh, that's quite the exclusive. Oh, then yeah. it's like, this is how you dry. I mean, it, who are these instructions for? A fucking Victoria's Secret model? Ah! Like, Don't I mean, you could it be oh, that's a good any... Joke more you know what elementary i think that's how we're gonna have to ref this is the whole new thing we're doing now yeah. it's like is she a victoria's secret are they so victoria's secret or what yeah yeah that's so victoria's secret we're gonna have to start saying that yeah, we're gonna have to oh <laughs> 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 uh, so good oh uh, yeah um yeah so yeah I'll tell you something I got to show you. I had the boys, um, oh, here we go, pull some wild videos. Oh. You wanna see? Of course. This is in the horrible or hilarious genre. Excellent. Ready? I'm ready, mommy. Oh, Jesus! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That was fun. It was fun, he was really on fire. Yeah. 
Good thing they did it by that lake. That was pretty good. That just saved his life, I believe. <laughs> I believe that man would be in a deep, deep trouble yeah. if he wasn't by the lake. <laughs> so he was trying to hit a golf ball that was in fire or just yeah, hit the fire? I don't know. That's stupid. Okay. Oh, hey, what did you expect, dipshit? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that clothes just burns right to you. I mean, stupid. he took a swing with a golf club and, like, it all caught up on him. It, like, exploded on him. I don't I know, know what he was hitting. That reminds me of the time I was with the kids. And uh, I have one of those long burning logs that you yeah. use, like the starter logs. Yeah. I, yeah. And I threw a heavy log on top of the Dura flame, and it went <sighs> like it broke into all these tiny little pieces, and the flame came up and engulfed the real wood. It was fucking rad. That's fucking cool, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you should have recorded that shit. I know, huh? Shit, fuck. Shit was so fucking fire, dog. It was fun. Bro, check this shit out. Yeah. This is fucking rad right here, what I'm about to show you. You don't even know what's Let's up. Let's see it, dude. Car. Going, Tiny trying car. to pass up this truck on the right here. Uh-oh. Right? See where this is uh -oh. going. Uh-oh. Oh! <gasps> He's like, you don't pass me. <laughs> he smashed that tiny car. He's in a very dramatic and severe way. Fuck. That, that looks like it's in England. Yeah. yeah, it looks like the driver of the tiny car might be... Not doing great right now, right? <laughs> he's dead. Pretty sure, yeah. I don't think he's going to do too well after that pancaking of his car. Damn. <laughs> I'm glad you think this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> what part is funny, though? Like, I what's mean, it's LOL? fucking completely smashed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not LOLing. Are you guys uh, LOLing in there? No, I was trying to convince Tom to stay away from these kinds of videos, but he really insisted that this is funny stuff. <laughs> well, I didn't know which ones you guys picked. I said some were funny. And yeah, I, I told you we were looking through the account, and I was like, a lot of people die in these. And you're like, <laughs> not all of them. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And those are the ones I want to focus on. Okay. Did you not think that was funny? Mm-mm. Okay. Let's, uh... There you go. See? Horrible. That was so horrible. Say horrible. <laughs> horrible. That was horrible. Okay. And that's what I thought, too. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> Here's a car. Deck. <laughs> that was horrible, too. <laughs> that was horrible. Babe. That was really bad. For people listening, <laughs> what did you see? I don't want to say it. That's terrible. You're going to go straight to hell for that. I saw somebody lose control of their vehicle at a high rate of speed, and then the car hit a concrete wall and literally exploded. Let me make sure I got it right. And wow. I don't think it's a well-made car. That's what I took from this. I think it's a poorly made car, probably Russian. <laughs> Definitely Russian. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's next. Here, here you go. This is. Uh oh. Oh, oh no, no. no, 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 no. Why did you play that? Why did you play that? Take that out. That was terrible. Take that out. I didn't know what it was either. That was terrible. You can't show that. Oh, Jesus Christ. So that one's not funny. No, that was bad, dude. Mm hmm. Take that out. You didn't edit that out, right? Yeah, that was terrible. That was terrible, babe. Just don't even, sh just don't show it. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep your reactions in there. I'm so depressed. That yeah, was that, horrible. Yeah, that depressed me too. Thanks for sharing, Tom. <laughs> You're just bombing me out, man. <laughs> like... This is mostly Zolo's fault. He got here and yeah, he's like, hey, I want to make a splash. All right. Um, Zolo, what? Zolo, did he put this in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah. what's going on, Josh? This is his yeah. idea. Um, Are you okay, buddy? Yeah, just, just fucking take it easy, man. All right. Here's another one. Maybe this one will be better. No, oh, fuck. The tram There's always a trampoline uh, injury. Oh, she's... She's... she's <laughs> Okay, that wasn't so bad. I thought we were going to see two legs break. <laughs> that wasn't that bad at all. 
That wasn't bad. You know what I think we've learned on the show is that trampolines fuck people up yeah. so bad. That was the least fucked up we've seen somebody though. No, that that was okay. I mean, I I don't like seeing her do a, like watching her back break on the rim of the trampoline. Uh, okay. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know if this is going to be good or not. The description doesn't look so good. Oh, I don't want it. Uh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's that's that happens every day. That hurt. That definitely hurt, though. That hurt. But I can tell you this: he's fine. Yeah, he just hit the pole vault. What is that? High jumping? What yeah. do they call that stupid shit that he's doing? Jumping that's over high a jump. stick? Yeah. That's high jump. Yeah. So he just hit the stick. Yeah, well, he didn't hit the stick. He hit the pole that he holds the, pole. the stick. Yeah. Okay. The, so the, the steel one. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah, that was pretty loud. Yeah. Yeah. I heard it. Yeah, he's not happy. About he's that. done that before, though. He knows Maybe what's not. Up with that. Uh, wow. Shit, man. <laughs> don't. I don't like this. <laughs> put anything that's too much in here, okay? Yeah, but, I no, mean, I, I was, I was trying to make the case for it. They're like, hey, here's an Instagram account. I'm like, dude, all none of this we could show. Like, we're gonna that's have to. Not true. We're gonna have to put this in a channel <laughs> members again. Not, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true because I found two of our horrible or hilarious is in there. Two of them. Two. All right. Two out of, a, of like a thousand posts. Yeah, yeah, they kind of buried in there. But yeah, I'll tell so you what, this segment has really turned into a coin flip. Like uh, these aren't all funny anymore, which is kind of cool. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't enjoy that. I didn't enjoy these. None of these are good. None of them are funny. This is all tragedy. This should be called people being injured tragically. <laughs> And you laugh every time. You are so mentally ill. The only <laughs> funny, the, the truly funny one I loved is when the, that 70 year old was being rescued from the helicopter and oh, started yeah. spinning really yeah, fast. That was funny. That was a good one. Yeah. Because you know they were okay. It just didn't feel good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she was okay after that. No? Not at all. <laughs> For sure she went unconscious. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. That one made me LOL. Though. I mean, that was, she probably needed like a lot of treatment yeah. after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not like spinning in a but, circle. But she passed out? <laughs> for she sure. Passed out. Yeah. So today. And for sure, she thought she was dying the entire time. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yeah. You think you're dead, especially because you're injured. High level of panic. You're yeah. already injured and you're it's so like, vulnerable. Like, oh, yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I make it stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, this morning, on a, on a, was it Instagram or TikTok? I found this thing of like five awful things that have existed before. And in New Jersey in 1986, they built a water slide at this water park. Yeah, that went down and then did a full loop. Do I have that No, I think. I thought I, I, oh, you sent it to me. I Never just sent mind. it to you privately yeah, because yeah, it had yeah. music under it and it was like. like copywritten yeah. program yeah anyway it was a fucking water slide that did a loop-de-loop and spit people out and it hurt so many people <laughs> and broke so many bones and they're like we paid our employees a hundred dollars each if they would try it and they even went in wearing like helmets and like yeah protective and said, gear. And they said when they did the <laughs> test dummies it decapitated some of them because they're like we realize that not all body types could get the momentum going to make it through the entire loop. Also, it mentioned that people were coming out with um, feeling nine Gs of force. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like fighter jet level. Like they're like, yeah. that's a thing. It was a dramatic uh, drop. I mean, a really yeah. steep drop. Go it's New Jersey. Yeah. Loop de loop. Oh, you're go you're going fighter jet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's scary. But um. But it just goes to show, like, you trust that these amusement parks, amuse yeah. these are amusement yeah. parks. This wasn't just, like, some crazy gypsy set up, uh, you know, by the freeway thing. It was a legitimate park Yeah, that they are protecting you. They're not, guys. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking I think that's crazy. it. Action Park Cannonball Loop. <laughs> it might be it. There's nothing in the world like Action Park. We come and act. I wonder if that's it. <laughs> I bet. Well, it's not that one, but it. Let's uh, see if it shows the loop de loop. Um, Jesus, it's quite distinct. If it comes on, you'll be able to tell right away. 
just it's just killing people. It, it's just a steep decline and a loop. <laughs> <laughs> water sl- oh there it is there it is, is that it? that's it that's it that's, that's it. it look 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 <laughs> that's it yeah it's a fucking yeah. water slide nine g's coming out of <laughs> and people are breaking their arms and shit <laughs> like <laughs> that's it but how much yeah. fun is it if you survive that thing if you survive it's that's great the right yeah. of your life that's what bro. it says at the sign at the top <laughs> if you survive you're gonna love this yeah <laughs> I mean, shit, I even get nervous on cruise ships when they have you just look do at that. the steep one. Far, I mean, that's <laughs> a big fucking drop, dude. Yeah. It's under the fucking ski lift. Oh, that's what it was. So during yeah. the snow season, it's a ski resort. And, and imagine a kid, like an Ellis size kid. You're probably coming oh. out of that thing like <laughs> 70 miles an hour. <laughs> dude, Ellis would love this. Uh, Children would over love and over and over. this. Yeah. Like, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. The loop de loop. So funny. Oh, man. A yeah. fucking water slide. It was open there. for like a week. <laughs> and they reopened it for like special events. And then the state was like, you need to shut this thing down forever. I know. So what happened was too is that they discovered that people were getting stuck in the loop-de-loop. Certain body types couldn't make it. Certain body types. That's what they types. said in the article or yeah. whatever. And so they built an escape hatch at the bottom yeah. so they could just like plop your body out because people were getting stuck. I'm in here. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the bloop. I'm in the loop. The yeah. Bloop. yeah, I like the bloop better. Yeah. I'm on the bloop. <laughs> the bloop part. Help me. Oh fuck, that was fun. Yeah. Well, yeah. Speaking of fucking uh, Russian shit, back in Budapest, I used to go to uh, it's called Vidan Park. It's like the one amusement park in uh, Budapest, and mm-hmm. it's all done like during the Russia Soviet era. Is it really nice? It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> there was a roller coaster. Oh, yeah. V- it was called Vidam, I think. V I D A M. Anyway, there was one roller coaster. It's probably better now. Yeah, there it is. Vidam Park. See? V I D A M Park. There was one roller coaster. It doesn't even stop to let you on, it just slows down. And then, <laughs> and then <laughs> you just like, you, the person's, the, whoever's on it jams out, you jam in. And then the bar doesn't even go over your lap, it just stays out like this. That's I'm pretty sure that's it's like an old Soviet roller coaster. It's yeah. so terrifying. And the Ruskies made it. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know you can really die at a Russian park. Vidam Park yeah. and hungry to close. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Yeah. That's the one I was on. Yep. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. There was a super fun dude. King, <laughs> so scary. Kings Island, which is outside <laughs> Cincinnati, is a uh, was an amusement park, and they had a roller coaster called the Beast. Oh. And uh, for a long time, it had the steepest drop in the United States, and it was just all wood. <laughs> so, like, the rest of the park had had rides that were metal and steel, like you're used to seeing. Yeah. And you're like, this one's wood. Yeah, this that was that and one, And it would too. go like, you know, it just, you're on it, and you're like, um. Yeah. And they tell you, like, don't put your hands up. And I was riding this thing when I was, like, eight, you know. It's so dangerous. Oh, you're terrified. At that age, you're terrified. I mean, that drop is really significant. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. And it's got a loop-de-loop, too. That's it's, terrifying. I don't know. If, that might be a different one. Son uh, of Beast. Yeah. The be- okay, because that's just but a the beast, shitty wooden. It was the largest drop. Oh, Maybe my that gosh. is. I don't know. Uh, oh, there's King's yeah, the Island. Beast, uh, King's Island. It was the largest drop for a while um, that you could go on in a roller coaster. I pretty, mean, you realize it. It's just humans building oh, this Dayton, stuff. I guess. You know um, what I mean? This is yeah. just idiots building these things. Idiots like you and me. Yeah. Just regular people. They're well, not special. Hit that, hit that one time. Hit that Wikipedia. Oh, fuck. So I'm trying to remember. <laughs> yeah, a wooden roller coaster. It's in Mason. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's one. The Colossus right opened in 79. I... So yeah, that's why. <laughs> it's good. 79. Yeah. It is still the longest, spanning 7,359 feet oh, across gosh. 35 acres. Jesus. Two lift hills contribute to the ride's duration of more than four minutes, which also ranks as one of the longest among roller coasters. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Four minutes is a long oh, time. It was designed without assistance from scientific calculators and computers. <laughs> <laughs> uh Issues discovered during early testing uh, delayed plans to build an enclosure over the Helix Finale until 1980. Um, would often overhear construction uh, crews, oh, calling it a beast of a project. She credited that with coming up with the ride's name. Uh, the record-breaking roller coaster was well-received at a press event um, preview held 
the Beast has consistently ranked in the top 10 wooden roller coasters in the annual Golden Ticket Awards. Yeah. Wow. Um, remains one of the most popular rides, having accommodated over 54 Jeez. million riders. I wouldn't ride that shit now. What's that? Uh, yeah. G-Force 3.6. And that oh. thing on that video <laughs> said that that, that <laughs> fucking tube was a nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean and and like texas has wild shit like that too yeah, yeah. where they're like well right at your own risk yeah. i've heard stories of them having like you know slides or whatever sure. or shit they don't care if i can um, die on it it's your problem i'll tell you what i'd rather witness <sighs> uh, than an awesome roller coaster oh, no i never wear the fuck i goddamn please you goddamn ugly ass whole dumb fucking bitch clock sucking motherfucker <laughs> Get out of here. Fuck the Get fuck out. off, you bitch Get ass motherfucking pizza. If you don't want to come through that, you're going to let him I will fuck you up, bitch. If seven by can't take me, you sure fuck him. <laughs> I like that. I do too. That's a McDonald's drive through And you know what? Yeah. You're the customer. You're right. Yeah. The customer's always right. Yeah. I love it when a you woman tell freaks out. Yeah. It's so special when it's we have women right? doing yeah. it. It is different. It just hits different, as the kids it say. It does. It yeah. does hit different. Yeah. yeah. I enjoy it. Get you. You really had a real question. Suck my dick, bitch. <laughs> you, I, you're, and I don't want to be served by you goddamn dumbass bitch. That's why I'm suing you in the first place for oh, falling at sure. your goddamn restaurant. And that's why I'm pissed off in the first place. Because I goddamn hurt, bitch. <laughs> now figure that one out. Call corporate, bitch, because I got your attorney's number already. You know what's interesting about <laughs> people who claim suing? Uh, they never sue. They never sue. They're usually the brokest motherfuckers yeah. do. They have no idea how much a lawsuit costs to file. They never it's sue. It's so expensive. It's almost the equivalent. You're would not going to do it, trust me. Similar to the people who are like, I'll fuck somebody up. Like, <laughs> no, no, you're not. No, you don't. No, you're not going to You've do never that. done that. She's never filed a suit. It's so expensive to go after somebody. Yeah. You ruin yourself more than you do the other person usually. Yeah. Yeah. What could you possibly be this angry about at the McDonald's drive through Cold could, cold McMuffin or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Every time I see McDonald's though, I, I want to eat it. Wait, but seriously, like don't I just see the colors and I get like oh, oh, yeah. I want to eat it. There's something in that I shit, know, right? I haven't had it in a minute, man. I know. Cold, but hot fries. So good. But when you're cold, you're right. Once they turn cold, it's That's the worst. They smell like garbage too in your car. It and especially like shit. that that food, if you I've had a couple drinks. <sighs> Man. Nothing better. Nothing better. Yeah, yeah well, there's so, certain foods I can only eat. What just if that's faded. Heaven? What if when you get to heaven, they're like, the thing about it up here, you're always going to feel a little drunk, but there's McDonald's <laughs> everywhere. And you're like, that's pretty cool. That that's sounds heaven? fucking uh, yeah, amazing. 24 7. But the problem is, is that you feel sick immediately after. You do, but that doesn't exist in heaven. Oh, that's, that's, that is heaven. That's the whole thing. They're like, you just keep eating, you don't feel sick. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Like I can eat as much Taco Bell as I want. Dude, the last time I ate Taco Bell was like 2010. Yeah. Was Madison, Wisconsin. I drank all this red wine and then I went to Taco Bell uh -huh. and I ate a fuckload of Taco Bell at like two in the morning. <sighs> I've never felt that sick in my entire life. It's so gross. A stomach full of red wine and Taco Bell. Oof. It was vile. Taco Bell is made to make you shit. I, it doesn't make me shit though. What? I don't cock up from it. I don't. Man, I, it doesn't. It doesn't diarrhea me. You do. You do. No, no, no. I was agreeing with Christina. You oh. too. Well, I think my just I've been feeding it to my body for so long. Yeah. It just knows how to process. Yeah, it. yeah, I do. Now, it's really, it's really nice, man. No, yeah, you throw a salad <laughs> at me, it gets fucked up. Yeah. Chipotle too. I ch no, sorry, Chipotle makes me shit violently. Um, McDonald's doesn't make me shit. No. You too. No. Yeah, it doesn't affect. It makes me feel nauseous after I eat it, but it's worth it. Because it tastes so good. I don't feel nauseous after it. I do. I go from hungry, like I'll be super hungry, and then oh, I go to nauseous. Like, like, oh, that was not good. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't feel McDonald's good. McDonald's breakfast? How good is that? <laughs> That's the best in the world. When they finally got their shit together and they're like, order breakfast all day. It's like. Oh, they do now? Yeah, for a few Smart. years now. But I mean, there was that time, especially when you're <laughs> grinding out those feature weeks. And you're no. on the road and you get up at noon. And they're like, mm -mm. Yeah. Can't get it. Yeah. And you're like, fuck. Cut it, I think you used to cut it off at 10.30 or something. You're always sleeping in, you know? And you're like, I just want to eat breakfast, man. I know. Yeah. But it's stupid Now bitch. they do it. That's good. Yeah. Are you being serious? 
Yeah. Tell us. Uh, I think Ryan, someone here was telling me that they were trying to go to a McDonald's. It was you? Uh, yeah. I mean, apparently any uh, was trying to get some McDonald's breakfast, and uh, they're like, yeah, we don't do that shit here. That stops at 1030. That <sighs> is worth That's, suing. That them. is un-American. <laughs> you should sue them. I would sue them any. McDonald's doesn't have good lawyers. Sue them. <laughs> I'll go. Uh, I'll go threaten them right now. Do it, in man. The middle of a drive Go stand in a drive thru <laughs> and tell them that you kicked their fucking ass. Yeah, you I don't even suckers. sell hot sauce. What the fuck? What the ah! fuck? Bullshit. There it is. <laughs> That's what's up. I had their apple pie though. I, t- I talked about this before. It sucks dick now. It's yeah. not. It's not that good fried shit. It's like all healthy and yeah. It's bullshit. Yeah. I like that styrofoam and the hot grease kind. Yeah. How about their Sunday? Oh, the right Sunday's now. off the chain. It's awesome. I remember when I was pregnant with Ellis. Yeah. There was three things I was always eating. Carl's Jr., the Western Bacon Cheeseburger, extra fr- uh, onion rings, extra barbecue sauce. Oh, I would Jesus. pull over and eat it in the parking lot. That's three times a week. Twice a week, in and out. Uh, doubles, double meat patties, animal style, fries. That was the other, that was two days a week. And then at 11 o'clock, this is before we, this is when I was pregnant with the first, Remember, I'd make you drive me to McDonald's yeah. and I would eat a hot fudge sundae at like 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, but I'd be like, yeah, I'll get one too. <laughs> 80 pounds later. Yeah, I gained 80 pounds on my pregnancy. Crazy. So worth it though. Uh, Fucking worth it. I, I ate exactly how I wanted to. Pretty and then great. later they're like, your cholesterol is a little high. I'm like, nah. Yeah. And if we had <laughs> breakfast, we'd also have second breakfast. Second breakfast. Yeah. Dessert for breakfast. Yeah. So good. And you feel good. You look you good. Feel you feel good. good. <laughs> you know, I felt great. I had trouble bending down, but it felt good. Um, yeah. Pee break. I got to pee. Okay. If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2022, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for wireless? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you maximize your savings with plans starting at just $15 a month. I mean, it's so easy. It's so convenient. It's, the service is fantastic. And why, why are you paying more? You should, you should treat yourself. All plans come with unlimited talk and offer high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new wireless plan for just $15 a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash mom. That's mintmobile.com slash mom. Cut your wireless bill to $15 a month at mintmobile.com slash mom. This episode is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Watching Netflix without using ExpressVPN is like going to a casino and only being able to play on the slot machines. Why limit yourself like that? The big money's somewhere else. Netflix has different content libraries for every country, but without a VPN, you only get access to a fraction of that. Like if you want to watch some Japanese guy bang his stepmom, there's a series that's only available there. And you cannot watch it wherever you are. Or like a French lady uh, pissing in her uncle's farmland. That is a special, only available there show. ExpressVPN has blazing fast speeds, stream in HD with zero buffering. It's compatible with all your devices and works with other streaming services like BBC, iPlayer, YouTube, and more. So be smart. Stop paying full price for streaming services and only getting access to a fraction of their content, get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash your mom. Don't forget to use my link, expressvpn.com slash your mom to get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Ready, mommy. And five. No. Chamesh, Alba, Shalosh, Stein. Yeah, I mean, Zoe's got to understand when you speak. So. <laughs> How was your piss? fucking great yeah i needed it yeah um i was just saying when you were pissing is that i feel so much better with josh zolo here i feel like the alchemy of this this team is back yeah you know like i felt i i i feel settled now knowing that like all of our our victoria's secret children are under one roof all the models are here yeah 
Yep. Are we cutting that out? All right, I feel You're very well represented. It's true. We, no, we I... like representation. <laughs> I feel better that that everybody's here under one roof now, and we have new additions. We have, you know, Chad is here. He's smarter than Chris. <laughs> that's and Ryan undeniable. Yeah, that's Chad, wild. Chad bodied Chris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chad reads uh, heavy books too on the weekend. Like yeah. he's a reader. He's Chad, smart. He's from academia. He shouldn't be here. But no, yeah, he's. Uh, <laughs> I know it's rad. It's great. Great that he's here. Yeah. But I like I missed I I didn't realize how much I missed having Josh Zolo around just Zolo's feeling a, his it's, energy. It's, yeah, it's part it's part of the crew. Gotta, yeah, you gotta have him here for sure. Yeah, I'm glad he came here and left all those fucking Jays in L.A. You know? oh. <laughs> what? I don't know. That was just a really cool tone. Yeah, Tom. I'm glad that my friend is here. There we go. <laughs> God, these people are so uptight. Oh, I know. What's your problem? Left fucking J Central and came out to the... Oh my God, that's so funny. I didn't realize how many Js were in LA <laughs> until I came here. I'm like... Now oh. you can breathe, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I love the You're Js. Like, Don't worry, I hear you. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, just fucking let your fucking hair down a little bit. Okay. Is that how you feel? Yeah, yeah. You're like, finally. God, it was so frustrating. <laughs> What did they stop you from doing? Everything. 19 years I was around that shit. The J's, the B's, the fucking M's. The J's, yeah. the B's, the yeah. M's. Yeah. Uh, God. I where was, was like, I got to get out of this shit. Yeah. 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 Alaska's too far. That's where I was going, really wanted to go. <laughs> you know? it's Alaska, a lot of drunks. A lot of uh, angry, drunk guys beating the women up there. I remember that when I did well, Anchorage. When can I go? Yeah. But they're nice people generally. You did Anchorage? Oh, a million years ago. I did Anchorage, Alaska before we had children in in a January. And it was, you know, 10 in the morning and the sun had not come out yet. And people were going to church. It was fucking, it was cold. Let me tell I you. I just booked it. Anchorage? Yeah. Wow. When? I don't know if I'm allowed to say when, but I just booked it. Um, is it is it a time when the Aurora Borealis might be visible? I don't know. When is it visible in Anchorage? Um, Vintage times? Dude, can I tell you one of my? I, I so want to see the aurora. If if it's that time, I would go. I'm dying to see that. You know that. You know. know that, Tom. It's a bucket list. And <gasps> during all four seasons, although they are harder to see under the midnight sun, the best time to see them in between August and April. Really? That is not when I'll be there. Oh fuck nuts. So <laughs> that's one of I'm my. I'm also there for one day. Oh, not worth it. Well, that. I wouldn't make it a trip then. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. But the weather's kind of a bear. It's very weathery. It's very snowy. Yeah. But upside, you know, white what? people, white people and natives. It's just, you know, not so much of everything else. Oh, it's home. No, yeah. it's true. And they, um, they, they pay people to live there because the climate is so rough. Fucking pay me, man. And the oil oil rig workers and stuff. I'll move there tomorrow. Work for Exxon tomorrow. <laughs> Just to get away from all these different Just people. Just to get all, away from all this culture and <laughs> inclusion, diversity. Oh, I was going to tell you, when I was in uh, Miami, mm -hmm. I saw so many Hasidic Jews. Really? Yeah, it oh. was. Miami has a real heavy Jewish community. I did not know that. Big did time. you know that, Nadav? Uh, I didn't know that. I, I know Jews love Florida. They do Boca yeah. generally, Boca yeah. Raton. But that's like old Jews. Yeah, old Jews. But Miami just has the whole spectrum. I like, did not realize there it's were a humongous cities. So. Yeah, there were. But there was like the guys with the curly cues walking around when the whole the whole outfits and the the wives at the. Curly the pool. cues. What do they call the curly cues? They call them payas. The payas. Yeah, the like the real, yeah. real, real J stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not like poser Jews, but right. real Jews. Right. You know. Right. Orthodox. Yeah. Yeah. I was surprised to see them in Miami. Miami's like Sodom and Gomorrah. Like you chose here. Isn't this like an mm -hmm. unholy, not cool, not cool family place? Were they wearing the the thick coats over there too? Yeah. God, the damn. Heat. It wasn't too hot. It was like eighty, which not. is not. It's all right. They don't come off in a hundred either. They don't. <laughs> no. So you just stay sweating that thing. Why do you have to wear the heavy coat? Uh, 
I think it's all just like as a sign of a respect thing to God. Holy it's like shit. yeah, it's all. It's crazy. That is a rough city to wear something like that in in like for like six months of the year. Because once you get into April, you're fucking already. You can feel it. It's not the worst part yet. June, July, August, September, October are goddamn yeah insane. When we there. did the the live show out there, it was my first time in Florida. And oh yeah. Anytime I went outside, my glasses would fog up. Oh and yeah. Then I'd be like, uh, ah, I and that breathe. was May. It wasn't even cooking yet. Yeah. That wasn't even top tier suck. No. no way. Ugh. No way. Yeah. But you got that rain in the afternoon. It just and it cools just things washes off. it away. Yeah. And you feel that rain and, and you just yeah. feel, oh, ain't that refreshing? I, lo- I do love an afternoon storm time. A nice I'm a, shower. I'm excited for those come summertime here in uh, Texas. Yeah, it cools you right down. It cools you it's right like, off. It goes all the way down to 105. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then you'd think that the Jews should go to Alaska because then they can wear their outfits without <laughs> worry. <laughs> what? Without... I know that just took a turn I didn't expect. That's all. Well, I was just thinking for them. I love the element of surprise. (laughs) Well, I'm thinking like Miami or Alaska. There's your camera. Okay, I got. Listen, acidic Jews, if you're listening, no, I'm not going to tell them how to dress. Okay, okay. guys, I'm doing stand-up comedy. Holy (laughs) shit! (laughs) I'm going to Charlotte, North Carolina. April 1st and April... I don't like that sound. <laughs> Is that a woman being killed? Or I, don't, I don't know what's happening to her. April 1st and 2nd. Okay. And then I... um Austin, stateside at Paramount. I'm part of the Moon Tower Festival April 13th, May mm-hmm. 3rd, one night only at the Regent Theater in Los Angeles. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Mm-hmm. Acme Comedy Club and Mini Apple Tits. <laughs> May, thank you. May 6th and 7th. And then Sperm Vine, California, May 20th and 21st. The Borgata, June 4th in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And June 5th, one night, Boston Massive Huge Tits at, at the, the Wilbur. Wilbur. Oh, my God. I my leg, dude. Okay. April 12th, 13th, Cleveland, Ohio. And then Nashville, Tennessee in October. Tickets at ChristinaPOnline.com. Thank you for sharing. I like that guy. <laughs> yeah. I found a new show on the Disney Channel. Yeah. I was watching with the kids. This fucking psycho pulls snakes like pythons out of their holes. Yeah, I walked in on you watching this in show. In Australia, it's like, so good. This guy couldn't see where he was reaching. That's the crazy. Yeah. He's like, I think there's one in here, and he puts his hand yeah. under a rock, and he's like, I, 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 I'm, <laughs> I think this, this is a python. These are really dangerous. And you're like, the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> it's so good. And then he pulls it out. He's like, I can't let this thing bite me. He's like, <laughs> He's like, it really hurt. Yeah. He's like, like, this is Australia's most venomous snake. Oh, my God. This is the, the crown jewel. Oh. Now he's a Disney channel. It's a, not on Disney. It's Discovery. on Disney Plus. Oh. And oh. it's a guy in Australia. I wish I could remember it's the name. It's not Discovery? No. It's oh. on Disney Plus. Uh, snake guy. <clears throat> right? Snake guy. He's Australian. Uh, I'm and... a there. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have for lunch? Uh, uh, sea Came bass? back up. There That's he him. is, Jack Randall, and this guy's out of his fucking mind. Out of his mind, he's a true like outback guy. You can tell he just grew up, yo, comfortable with snakes. Comfortable, and yeah. then they're in like no man's land in the Northern Territory where there's like no people. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I'm trying to find snakes at night, and he takes off his boots and gets into a fucking swamp barefoot and feels around for snakes and with his feet and reaches down. Oh, I think I got one. <laughs> That's what he does, and he's yeah. he's great. He you know you can't train to be this guy. You know no. what I mean? You're just this guy. It's not an act. Yeah. Just like Irwin was like, so into it. There's like one guy every continent who's like this. You know, yeah. the guy who's like what tarantulas? Yeah, I mean, snake you know, guy. Like, pick, yeah, yeah. He's that kid. You remember he has good Steve Irwin, Irwin Steve Irwin vibes where he's well, he, just enthusiastic. He seems like a, yeah, and he's like a he seems like a good dude. You know? Yeah. So is yeah. I think Steve Irwin was a sweet guy. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So this is His this one's great. Kids do that. Yeah. yeah, Bindi Owen. Yeah. Bindi. And who's, oh, I forget the boy's name. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, yeah. Well, look, it's been a minute. I don't know if you're into it, but. I'm fucking I heard into it. Bitches was looking for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Bitch, I, go? I mean, your uh, TikTok curations take no days off. No days off. No chill. I always see you researching, it. working. 
<laughs> Whenever I walk by her in the house, I see, I hear like, <laughs> I'm like, oh. You, yesterday I was doing giving some, the kids a bath yeah. and what did you say you were like oh doing the Lord's work yep, I see I see like, that I saw some guy like pulling a tooth out and I was like hmm. <laughs> well cool. look you have your horrible or hilarious and I have yeah, my true. Talks. we each have our lane yeah these make me smile 99% of the time I don't think everybody feels that way but yeah I can't, I can't imagine yeah. I mean I. <laughs> alright you ready pussies. yeah okay Tell, tell me what's going through your mind see this shit. as you recall this curation. Hey, recall this. <laughs> so this one, this one, see, that's harmless. That's it's a palate that, cleanser. Yeah. You like it? I wish you would have saved this. For after I wouldn't the put show. this one. I would put this okay. down there, you know? But here's why it's an exceptional talk. you always usually depress everybody, so it's yeah, nice yeah, to have yeah. this after that. I know, but, you know, I didn't make it. So this is order. like a misdirect. Like, oh, this going to be a fun ride. And then I know it's like, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I know to tell somebody, no. Okay. Um, but what I like about this in particular is that it's um, an older person yeah. figuring out a fun thing to do on TikTok. Yeah. It's like an older immigrant lady, mm -hmm. which is always better than just like cute. Sure. Little white chicks. So I, I like that element. I like too. that too. So okay. That's pretty funny. Well, I think I know where this is going. <laughs> I mean, he's getting some room. Get <laughs> away. <laughs> No, they really did that. That feels like a setup, right? That, that seemed like too no. perfect. I don't think you could train a goat to do that. I mean, that dude's friend is an asshole. He was filming the whole time. Huh. Let's see anything. from the beginning. I mean, that thing set like it was perfectly set up. No. Like, He's watching a goat fuck with him. Huh. <laughs> but how would you train the goat to do that? I don't know. But he also seemed to fall perfectly. And I don't know. <laughs> and also, he's not hitting it. Well, uh -huh. people don't always beat animals, Tom, like you do. He's not hitting it. That's your. <laughs> I mean, I think that happens to you. You're like, I'm gonna fucking kill this thing right now. Yeah, but it's a cute animal. Right? Not after it does that, it is. But don't you think it could still fuck you up a little bit? Maybe, but I try. I would be trying to kill it right there. I think you should try hunting. I do. I think you might. All right. Let's find uh, the hunter is he down guy and he can take you out. Luke. How fun would that be? And then he kills something and he gets like, so uh, stoked. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> did, did I smoke him? I love it. Is he down, Hunter? Hunter is he down? Yeah, this is your this is your specialty right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what I'm used to. God damn. <laughs> oh it's so crazy, right? Yeah. So a lot's going on here. I'm pretty sure this person's in the hospital. You mean Anakin Skywalker with his <laughs> fucking helmet off? This person's figuring out TikTok. I'm not sure what to make of I it. I guess I'll post this. I guess I'll put my glasses on first and then post it. Fantastic. Yeah, that's rare. Hard to find, actually. Yeah. These, like, is this my first time on TikTok? Kind of hard and special. I wish you'd give me a little credit. Yeah, it's good. It's hard to find these Sorry. first timer ones. Sorry. God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. And I'm pretty sure this is Eastern Europe, too. And that's just a house cat, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like, a, what is it, a bobcat? Kind of, or what is it? A mink, minx? Lynx? With its head cut out of a sheep. <laughs> I don't know what, what it is? Um, Definitely Eastern Europe. Kind of looks like it with the ears, right? Lynx. I think it's Maybe. a bobcat. Yeah, lynx or bobcat. So okay. they look similar. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> so walk into a home with that. <laughs> its yeah. head is cut through a sheet. It's so and it's bizarre. It's just ready to fucking <laughs> rip you apart. Look at this thing. Look at this reaction. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh my god I mean is it tied down under there 
I he's hope like, so. I want to make a cool TikTok with your head through a sheet. <laughs> and the thing's like. <sighs> <laughs> I know. I would just run. Fucking A, man. Yeah, you think that's Eastern Europe? A hundred percent. Definitely. What? This is, nice. this is my nice kitty cat. Yeah. yeah. Fucking pussy. We had other cat buddies that ate them. <laughs> There's that account. Look at this Russian. Have you ever seen what's that? What's that say? It's a caracal. Caracal? Okay, well, let's see where that's from. Car- yeah. Caracal. Uh, um, there's a an Instagram uh, account called Look at This Russian. Yeah, have you I've seen, seen that? that. Yeah, that's yeah, so yeah. funny. Oh, that ear that does look right. Who knew that? It's pretty. Chad. Zolo. 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 Knew Zolo. Ooh, maybe you need to have a new smart off. Wow. <laughs> he Googled it. He Googled. Still. But can I tell you what? What Josh Zolo is really smart at? He's very resourceful. Yeah. Like he knows how to get the answer if he doesn't know the answer yeah, yeah, yeah. and quick. It's almost like he should be Googling all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we can make that change if you want. Okay. Um, on to the next one here. <laughs> Don't you look at me like I that. What, what the fuck? Gail? What the fuck? God damn. Do you think I've been trying to take care of that goddamn cat for two weeks because your fucking ass doesn't do it. You remember this lady, right? Uh, vaguely. We played this video. On, on oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, well. But it's been, it's been a long time. Well, it's a little refresher. Yeah. Yeah, she's really upset. She's very angry and just not feeding the cat. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, because I think she's, she's really watching out for that guy's cat. Probably. He's not. Probably. Fucking asshole. Yeah. I do like seeing old I've people. never Me told too. anybody this before. Like, anybody. In 2014, during a depressive episode, I spent $87 on Candy Crush. Mm. <laughs> who That's hasn't good. done that? That's though? good. Like, That's pretty... Who can't relate to that? During a depressive <laughs> episode? Like, you're expecting, like, a real confession? <laughs> That's good. I like but that. But $87 on Candy Crush? It's a, that's a lot. Because when you think about yeah. the buys, it's like 99 cents, maybe a dollar ninety nine, maybe. To yeah. go to eighty nine dollars on Candy Crush, you'd fucking depressed. Yeah. It's a lot of bad work. Yeah. I mean, I remember it was like every flight for a while, right? Yeah. Like, you'd take off the whole flight, connect. Flight. <laughs> I mean, it was it really and then they get you because they're like, you can't play for another twenty seven minutes. You're like, I need to play. You know, I know. Yeah. Why do they do that? Why do they stop you from playing? If you don't pay. Oh. It's just like you can play, but you have to wait. So it's a way so to get, annoying. it's like tapping into your, you know, impulse. Oh. You're like, no, I got to play now. I All know. Right, it's just a dollar. Not a big deal. Yeah. Just 87 Fuckers. more times. Fuck faces. Yeah. Anyway, I thought that was really cute. That's great. Because like the shame of that, I remember like a depressive episode when I graduated from college where I was just in between worlds and I stayed inside and I played Puzzle Bobble all day every day until 6 30 p.m when blind date would come on with roger lodge yeah and that was my whole day it was the most depressing time of my life like i wake up at 11 start the puzzle bobble wait until roger lodge came on at 6 30 and then like watch more tv and do it all over. this was when after i graduated from college Uh, i was like 22 or 23 you have like no idea what you're doing none and i was unemployed i was just trying to figure shit out i was so depressed and that was your fix. Was that was the that. thing I did. And just like smoke cigarettes and play puzzle bobble. It was the stupidest thing. It's pretty cool. I gotta say. <laughs> cool. So depressing. This guy whipped out a pendulum at my job to help decide which fire stick to buy. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Like what? That's why you use TikTok. This yeah. is what it's for. Yeah. This kind of <laughs> shit. Yeah. Look a at that pendulum. crazy fucking ring that guy has on. If I saw that ring on a hand, I'd be like, this dude's going to have a whole lot of personality. Oh, God, you know? I know. He's going to tell you stories. That ring is not a subtle ring. No, because he thinks he's into like shamanistic. Mm-hmm. What is it? Like Indian, but not like a Native American. Like he thinks he's a Native American shaman or something. Is that what this is? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's, he's got his pendulum deciding which fire stick to buy. You'd think he'd just fucking lick the wind or something to figure it out that way. <laughs> Lick the wind. Um, uh, yeah, it's this one. <laughs> Lick the wind. Flat screen, 42 inch. 
Sando mekua ule unono le mama mama nasema ndo me This is not normal. <laughs> That but, thing I've seen, I've actually seen that Russian footage a lot of like the hammer hitting somebody who's like at a chiropractor <laughs> and you're like, that looks like you just fucking ruined that guy's back. Um, yeah. And this time it's like to a guy's asshole. It's a, I bet to the, the, the coccyx, the uh -huh. tailbone or whatever. But that, the guy swinging doesn't seem like he really knows what he's doing. No, of that course was, that not. That was like a real lazy swing. Yeah, and all those P.O. boxes behind him. I know, and he's got the mail. butthole like. <laughs> Nah, that's weird. Nah. Do you still get your back adjusted? Uh, I was getting my back adjusted, but as I've been working out more, I haven't been needing it as much. Look at that. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. He's lost weight. He looks great. It's all just losing weight. Oh, I know. You yeah, you look really good. Bunch. You've lost what, 20? Mm -hmm. Wow. 20 pounds. It's amazing. Congrats. Thank He's on that beat. Thank you. Yeah. Beat <laughs> Bart path. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, has Bart lost any weight? <laughs> nah. <laughs> no. I think he found the weight that I lost. Yeah. I took a cup. I filled it up. What I found out later was about seven ounces of urine. And I looked <laughs> at it and I said, this is the craziest thing I've ever done. And I just banged it all down. Just like a beer. And it surprised me. All it tasted was like uh, warm seawater. All right. Well, Don't you love that? I would like to see the fan after this, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I wish I would have seen what these guys said to him next, you know? No, I know. But, the, you know, they all say the same thing. And now he's like, I, I know where this is going. This guy's like, no, I drink it every day. Of course. Yeah. These urine therapy people, it's they're always proselytizing what yeah. a great thing this is to drink your own pee. You got to pee in your Good mouth your more. your hair, yeah. your skin. You don't pee in your mouth? Yeah. What are you living for? <laughs> There's the karaka karaka. <laughs> Fuck you, man, for having that in your house. <laughs> You're insane. That's, that's to the owner, by the way. Yeah, I know. That's who he trusts most. I know. Look. He's got yeah. a, a fucking, uh, what's that shit on his, around his neck? Collar with like the name tag uh -huh. on. There's muffins. You think you stick your hand out, that goes well with that thing? <laughs> How'd you lose those three fingers? My cat. <laughs> so wild, dude. <laughs> oh, speaking <laughs> of cats. <laughs> Definitely didn't like that, just so you know. Well, go back to the first one. You really enjoyed that first one again. Remember the first one? Yeah, that would have been Go nice back to, to that's that. That's what I want to see now. Feel it. It's fun. Meow. Meow. No, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> No. No way. So That's real? That can't be real. Can't be real. What are you talking about? They're somewhere in like that Amazon or some shit. No. no but there's all them screaming. That's like a 40 foot three. That's like a monster from a movie. Looks real to me. And also, that chatter that sounds real, I didn't see anybody. Yeah, I think that was added in. Yeah, it feels like it's an effect. And it doesn't look like the snake's moving too much. You know, like you're not It's just trying to crushing. eat a van. Yeah. Yeah. Why well, I liked it. I mean, it's cool. It's cool that somebody, that somebody could create this is cool as fuck. I'm just saying, I'm questioning whether or not that's really what we're is that seeing. Universal Studios? I don't know where the fuck it is, but. Maybe one of the People screaming. Oh. <laughs> that, 
what? He's just eating fruit. I hated that. You guys are so uptight. He's that just was... trying to enjoy his banana. What's the problem? Okay, let's wrap this up. <laughs> One, that is wrong. Two, he's been here with me. I like these. He's and dead. three, he was not on his phone last night. He don't know you. He don't want you. He only wants me. I like that. Yeah. She's cool. Those cool, like, Very trailer cool. trashy. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I also like the shit talking. Yeah. That kind it's of like stuff. just some random commenter. Like, you don't even yeah. know this person. To publicly respond to shit talk is very fun. <laughs> That's a good It's talk. like Daddy Lala going, like, his yeah. whole, like, bro. Stop, yo, stop calling me daddy. Have a good day, everybody. Yeah, I like <laughs> women, dog. Cut that shit out, man. Hi, guys. I just wanted to wish everyone a really wonderful, great, and safe weekend. And yeah, President's Day weekend. It's President's Day, isn't it? So, yeah, that kind of weekend. This month went by so quickly. I can't even believe it. We're going to be in March before you know it. Very well. No, is it March, April? No, March. Yeah, March. <laughs> okay, bye. So, uh, is that LaToya? Yeah. Like, I yeah. mean, she's basically doing the Chris shout out talk yeah it's like have a good weekend i can't believe it's president's day weekend wow it's already march is it april it's like what do you why did you even get on the talk yeah. why, like why they fucking do this to their face it's just fucking insane. the face is like and the uh, you can see in the background the opulence the wealth yeah. you're just like and she knows what she's doing like she framed herself up next to the vase next to the yeah of course of course well i prefer this to a cool guy video for sure you know yeah how old is latoya will you She's got to be in her 60s, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, her nose is just gone yeah, it's at crazy. this point. Yeah. Is that Latoya? It is. 65. 65. 65. Yeah. I mean, they're they're all sweet as shit, I'm sure. Like yeah. they're they're never but you're just like, can you imagine how what it's like to be her? I'm just saying like you've been famous your whole existence wild. and your brother yeah. was that kooky shit. She looks like him. I know. It's wild, right? They're really crazy. Yeah, did they go to the same plastic surgeon? They will start buttering the bread like that. Practical, certainly. But in terms of etiquette, incorrect. Oh. Place it onto your plate. That's, this is where the saying comes from, breaking bread. So you break the bread into small pieces, mouth, mouth size, Butter it. Perfect. Did you know that? Didn't know that. Really? No, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, so you're not, what they're saying, this is an etiquette. I know you like the informative talks. Yeah, I do. So like it's it. an etiquette talk. You're not supposed to take the whole slice of bread, butter the whole slice, and then chomp. You're supposed to take break a, a slab piece. of butter, put the butter on your tiny plate, break off a pre, and then dip, like, do it like that. I like knowing the etiquette because I also like to know when I feel like breaking it, you know? Because sometimes you're like... What do you mean? I Sometimes I go like, I don't want to be proper. You understand? Yeah. but Like I, if I'm at a lunch or dinner or whatever and it's like, I don't know, friends or family, I'm like, uh, fuck it. Well, yeah. I'm just going to butter it straight from the thing. Yeah. I don't care. I think, yeah, the, uh, this was always... But my, it's good to know. What it it is. My mother is. was always a stickler on this, yeah. on the butter bread etiquette. and But it's so, to me, it seems more disgusting to rip off a piece touch it you're touching it more with your dirty hands why are your hands dirty well you know what i mean you don't we don't as westerners generally touch our food directly much, yeah we usually use a fork and a knife oh, so yeah. for a westerner to grab the thing and shred it and then you're touching the bread and I the thing it's like so many meals with warm bread delivered to uh, uh the table in a restaurant. <laughs> I know. you, you know? eat the whole loaf the before fucking, anything when, comes when a place has amazing bread and they bring it I out know. And i'm like you piece of shit i know and then they're like would you like another basket i'm like yeah i'd like two loaves of bread I'd i like know. to eat two loaves of bread before dinner thank you <laughs> no um the worst is fondue have you ever had fondue? i have had it yeah. that's a waste too because then they get you to order like do you want chicken and veggies meanwhile you're not going to make it past dipping the bread in no. the cheese. That's all you're fucking there for is dipping bread in cheese. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cunts. <laughs> trying to rip me off. All right, rip let's see you what off. Let's see what your final talk is. Are you all ready? All right, cross your fingers. Let's hope it's a good one that doesn't send us into a deep depression. No. He, he, here <laughs> you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh. shit. Oh, Fuck. That was cool, though, right? He fended off two wolves in Tibet. Yeah, that's the worst thing that can happen to you. Oh, of wolves coming after you? Yeah, because wolves are such smart hunters, too, you know? Yeah, they're pack animals, uh-huh. aren't they? And they'll surround you. <laughs> and they'll they'll even bait you in. They'll, they'll you know, they will, the, the ones will come from the sides and behind you and and the one that's that's here you're like oh i don't know about this one and he'll run away and you're like oh he's gone and you don't know you're getting ambushed how do you know all this about wolf culture <laughs> yeah how do you know all this you've never ex- shared this with me <laughs> 17 years i actually studied wolves when i was in uh <laughs> shut college. up in tibet, yeah, in tibet. when in you tibet. spent your time in tibet with brad pitt when he was filming. no i went i did go to a camp um when a wolf I was, camp wolf camp when i was in <laughs> high school and they sent us out into the woods and they 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 they, uh they had like you know experts who were telling us all about like wolf hunting and everything okay and do they tell you stuff like when you go to bed at night you have to put all the food in the trees so that the bears don't come and take the food they didn't say that they made us howl at the moon (laughs) they did why just so we could so wolves could hear us and then we could practice our wolf call (laughs) i love it yeah what was your wolf call oh oh yeah, yeah. Let me hear it. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to do it here. Wolves will be here in five seconds. It's dangerous. It's, it's dangerous when you're good at it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they told them, they taught you how to wolf call so that you could beckon the wolves. Yeah. And then to they your... told me, they're like, you're actually dangerous because you can do it. So yeah. Much. I bet. Yeah. I and bet. Then, and then they told me, like, like just remember, you have like a, a weapon on you at all oh, times. Oh wow! Like your vocal cords are wolf cords. Yeah, like I can just like <laughs> summon you know wolves here. Wow! Yeah, that's really cool, man. Yeah, it is cool, and you should <laughs> fucking not forget it. Okay. Remember that lady that let wolves lick her mouth? I do remember. That was the best, dude. Yeah. That was the fucking best. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And she's was... like, when you get to know a wolf. <laughs> Uh, let it lick your mouth um all right well this was a lot of fun yeah i have to say overall that my tiktoks were more joyful than your horrible or horrible clips those were all horrible i gotta say it was a rough go at horrible hilarious today it was funny but a little sad too um Thank you guys for watching and listening. <laughs> we'll be back next week. The hot sauce is the best. And <laughs> our closing song a song is Face Fat by Jasilisk. Oh. Bye, Jean. Bye, Mommy. No, excuse me. Can I talk to you, please, girl? Life feels like fucking hell without a girlfriend. Just because I got a bald head and I'm horny doesn't make me a bad person. You get into, like, fucking straight up fucking songs, you know? Only wanna think about her every day and every night, girl. You're gonna be the most important person in my life, girl. We're gonna be lovers at first sight, girl. Fuck what others think of us. There's nothing wrong with being horny. Everyone's different. It's part of life. It's part of life, girl. I need sex, girl. I get horny fast, girl. Let's fuck in my car, cause I'm on a sweat, girl. Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jean. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jean.